Jesus Park. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is a poem I wrote a couple days ago, and it's an honor of this graduation, and it's an honor to be able to do this here. So, um, how did we get it? Until this very moment, I still can't believe I made it to this day And now I stand here before you with some final things to say I made a commitment to stay in school, in preschool from day one Now I stand with my cap and gown and I can finally say I'm done For all these years, the classroom was like my second home Now I'm moving out with my diploma and an equipped brain up in my dome I'll admit it wasn't easy, but now that I've reached my main goal, I can see that it is pleasing. Cause passing all my classes was an option to win, but staying alive out of school was the first thing to begin. Blood, sweat, and tears brought me to the peak, and now that I've reached the end, a new life is set to seek. Many of my classmates deceased, marching on the way, but they graduate with a pass to heaven when we will meet with them someday. There's no way to describe the happiness, sadness, pain, and struggle we went through. I can feel it deep inside, and I know all y'all do too. Friends, family, and teachers led us through this road. They were there to push us forward and warm us when we were cold. I can't explain it. It's a weird sensation, because I'm happy when I'm crying on this day of a graduation. It was such a long journey, and it's finally over. And as the days go by, we're coming one step closer to disprove every stat that says we can't make it, because we're Latino, Black, and Asian, but we take this lion crazy. in every lesson. <laughs> Thank you. Many soldiers signed for battle and we came out victorious, ready to move on to the next stage and make our lives great and glorious. But we will never forget the ones who pushed us to this length, the ones who gave us love and care, the motivation and the strength. The mother who held your hand on the first day of school, the father who drove you there and taught you the golden rule. They're the ones to thank. They deserve this dedication and we give them this day with much appreciation. Because we stand here today on our finest moment and I leave you with the words that this wise man once quoted. You are the best, the hope for the future. And this is true ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you search for. It's hard to believe, but we came this far to win it. This is the class of 09 and yes, we finally did it. Knowing this, we must strive to do better 
and to prove the negative people wrong. Today I am especially proud of our class because we have built a solidarity that transcends race, class, and gender. Because of this, we stand united to receive our diplomas and begin new chapters in our lives. And these new chapters will be filled with many other challenges that will require us to work extra hard in order to overcome them. I am living this lesson. I was a student who never went to class, freshman or sophomore year, due to low self-esteem. I thought I was too stupid for school. I had a .8 GPA, and I remember that in the beginning of junior year, my counselor, Ms. Nordon, told me that I was not on track to graduate. But with personal determination and support from families, counselors, and friends, I'm graduating today and attending San Jose State University in the fall of 2009. I learned that anything is possible with determination and dedication. So, class of 2009, we need to develop the skills necessary to work in this competitive global economy. We must leave this auditorium with a promise to ourselves to not delay seeking higher education or advanced vocational training. We must, we must remember that our life and our independence hinge on the choices that we make today. So, we're going from any low self-esteem to a new destiny. Congratulations because you are made it. Never forget the lessons you learned here. So begin a life-changing journey and may a better future be made because of the right minds of Diaz's class of 2009.